now available in paperback. From the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback at Amazon.com and online booksellers today. A white female child therapist on Long Island was arrested for distributing child porn featuring children as young as six months old. Serving allegations tonight against a child therapist on Long Island, Renee Hoberman is accused of distributing child pornography involving infants mm. and prosecutors tonight warning that she is a danger to the community. Here's Long Island reporter Shante Lance. Long Island child therapist Renee Haberman was arrested and charged with distribution of child pornography. Gut-wrenching a little bit. You know, your stomach turned when you heard about what everything she did. The 36-year-old pleaded not guilty, but in a criminal complaint, federal prosecutors say Renee Haberman, who also goes by the name Raina, quote, distributed heinous and disturbing child pornography, including videos showing infants being restrained and raped. Prosecutors also say while posing as a man, Hopperman claimed to have produced child porn and offered others the opportunity to sexually abuse children. It's upsetting. The half of our block are kids and they're all great kids. So hearing something like that, you never know what's going on behind doors and stuff like that. Her Plainview neighbors say her home on Pine Street was searched yesterday. I saw them coming out with like garbage bag looking bags full of stuff. Prosecutors say several electronic devices were seized, including an iPhone, which allegedly contained several videos of child sexual abuse in a hidden photos folder and sexual images of children shared with others on a Telegram account. Haberman was held without bail. She worked part time as a child therapist. Renee Haberman worked here in Melville at Life Stands Health. Managers at this therapy office say they had no idea about the charge. They take it very seriously. They don't believe any children were harmed and that she's since been fired. I haven't seen her since she was a little tiny kid. And all of a sudden she's grown up and she's moved out and she came back and she's a monster. And you're like, what happened? Now, according to reports, the U.S. Attorney's Office has arrested and charged Long Island child therapist Renee Holberman with charges of distribution of child pornography. And according to reports, they say that Renee Holberman allegedly was not only distributing this child pornography, but was also producing this child pornography that depicted infants as young as six months to a year old being sexually abused by people and also looked to cr create and upload this content as far as October 16th of this year. Now, after all of the details were presented regarding Renee Hoberman's alleged behavior, her employer terminated her employment and she, was, she wound up being arrested by these federal officials for participating in the production and distribution of this deviant child pornography that she presented on different social media sites such as WhatsApp and Snapchat. And this whole situation led to her again eventually being arrested and taken into custody. Now, the U.S. Attorney's Office and the media see this as an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of Renee Holberman's alleged behavior, it definitely fits the pattern and profile for criminal feminist indoctrinated women that I talk about in depth in several chapters of my book, The Woman Crisis. And Renee Holberman's alleged behavior definitely fits the pattern of a disturbing trend regarding specifically white women participating in sexual crimes where they participate in sexual deviancy by going out and doing things like either having sex with teenage boys or going out here and producing content like child pornography. Now, these w women, as part of this disturbing trend that has been going on for the last decade or so, 
have shown how feminist indoctrinated women are basically winding up participating in the same types of heinous sex crimes that men used to allegedly participate in. And this whole disturbing trend is quite troubling because it shows how some of these women basically have serious issues as related to participating in this type of deviant behavior and are participating it on a higher level of frequency than they have in the past. Now again, the, when it comes to sexual predation, these crimes usually used to be perpetrated by men, but we're seeing a larger and growing population of women participating in this behavior, and part of that possibly could be due to the sexual miseducation that many modern Western women have gotten under feminism that basically teaches them that men and women are equal and the same. And because these women believe that men and women are the same, they believe that they can go out here and have the same justification to participate in abusing boys and young, and, and young men the same way that male predators believe that they have this justification to participate in this deviant behavior. Now, when it comes to these women like Renee Hoberman, like the beta males that are their counterparts, these women participate in this behavior because of a sexual miseducation they have received. A sexual miseducation they have received either through going out here and being exposed to adult content like pornography at an early age without anybody there to teach them about how this what was behind this material, or they, they themselves have been sexually abused by child predators, or male predators, or female predators who expose them to this material, and this basically puts them on a road to where their whole perception of sex and sexuality wind up becoming completely warped, and as their whole perception of sex and sexuality wind up becoming completely warped, this is what puts them on a road to start exploring sex and sexuality, not in the open the way a healthy person does, but to go out and enter into a place I call the secret world. And in the secret world, they basically go out here looking to explore sex and sexuality, not to share in an intimate relationship where they can share love with another man or a woman, if that's their preference. No, what this person does is that they explore sex and sexuality because, because they want to get power and control over themselves and power and control over their lives. And the way they believe that they can get power and control over themselves and power and control over their lives is by being able to control someone through a sexual relationship. This is what the person believes because their whole perception of sex and sexuality is completely warped. And because their whole perception of sex and sexuality is completely warped, they are not looking to connect with someone. No, they are disconnected in of the, and of themselves. And instead of seeing a person as someone to care about and share in a sexual relationship, they see a sexual relationship as something that they can go out here and use to basically control people and control them through abusing them. This is what basically motivates an individual who is out here exploring sexual deviancy because in their eyes, people are not people like themselves, which is the great irony of these feminist indoctrinated women who think that they're going to be just like men, is that they don't see that person as a person to share with. No, they see that person as an object that they can control. And because they see that person as an object they can control, they basically see that person as someone who they can believe that they have a right to abuse and a right to abuse because this is the person that they want to get power over in the relationship. And that's what is the thing that makes this woman's whole behavior extremely disturbing because this child basically has no agency at all whatsoever. And these children that she was abusing were, just, were basically not even aware of anything because she was choosing to go after children who were six months to a year old to go out here and abuse. And that just shows how depraved that this woman, Renee Hoberman, allegedly was as related to her participating in uh, imbibing and 
looking to upload and distribute this type of extremely sexually deviant content that she was basically going out here and get launching this content because she wanted to see a child basically broken down a child broken down with no sense of awareness and a child su broke into subjugation all again meant to say her feelings about having power because she basically felt powerless in and of herself because again what motivates many of these women to go out here and go out here and imbibe this type of content and even create this kind of content is a feeling of powerlessness that they have regarding sex and that feeling of powerlessness as regarding sex I believe is one of the things driving this disturbing trend among Western women, Western women who may have been going out here and become, again, disconnected as related to adult relationships, either due to the core foundation, which is their sexual miseducation, but I believe that sexual miseducation basically starts and it leads to these women and going into sexual promiscuity because the average Western woman has had over 80 sexual partners by the time she's 30 years old, and with her not being able to parabunch what happens to these women is that they wind up becoming, again, detached and disconnected, and instead of them looking to share and bond with a male partner who is of equal age or older, what they do is go out here looking to get power over children who are younger, and as they look to get power over children who are younger, they look to see these children basically broken down because they want to feel like they have power over someone younger than they are and want to and get pleasure from seeing these children being broken down and humiliated because that's how they feel about the relationships they've had with men in the past so I believe that these are the things that drive many of these women like Renee Hoberman who are a part of a extremely disturbing trend I have been seeing among especially white women here in the West where they are going out here and exploring this road of sexual deviancy where they have been either having sexual relationships with teenage boys or they have been like Renee Hoberman further looking to explore even more deviant sexual behavior such as this child pornography that she was participating in watching and uploading to social media and again believe that this was a pattern of perfectly just fine behavior for her again she did this at, at, on the internet and uploaded this stuff to different websites knowing that there would be a clear paper trail that would basically lead to her I talk about this in my book stop simping in cyberspace where a lot of people think they can make this type of again disturbing and depraved content anonymously not understanding that in every laptop every computer and cell phone that is a part of the Wi-Fi networks they all have an IP address that basically can lead straight to that person's devices and basically there's evidence of those of that content on there even if that person deletes that content it can be found on a hard drive as they go out here and look to go recover that content moreover the internet service provider that basically you log in on your routers has all the information and history of all the websites that person has ever gone on and with all that information in place that there is a whole paper trail that basically leads to a case that could possibly put Renee Holberman in prison possibly for the rest of her life and I would say she would deserve to be in prison for the rest of her life because this woman should not be in society when you consider that she was in a place where she was supposed to help children but instead of looking to help children what she looked to do is harm these children traumatize them before they could even start their lives and that's what possibly makes Renee Holberman one of the worst monsters I've seen as related Related to this disturbing trend as related to these this group of women especially this trend of white women participating in these types of crimes I mean her behavior basically is just as disturbing as the behavior of Anna Marie Crocker who again participated in the alleged sexual assault of teenage boys but her behavior is again even more heinous than Anna Marie Crocker and what I'm seeing here 
is again a part of a disturbing pattern that many in the mainstream media don't want to talk about because in our gynocentric society we don't want to talk about how white women are participating in these depraved sex crimes at a higher rate and a higher frequency and how this is part of a disturbing pattern that's been going on but it's a pattern I have observed as related to the woman crisis ever since about 2014 when I started seeing more and more of these reports and as I've been seeing more and more of these reports I have been seeing mainstream media trying to downplay these these reports not wanting to talk about it because to talk about it means to talk against uh, many of these feminists and hold many of these feminists accountable moreover it means we have to look at this feminist culture that's been going on this feminist culture where we're seeing how these women who are talking about having power are participating in more antisocial and criminal behavior antisocial and criminal behavior that can impact the lives of children because again this woman was put in a place in the public trust and as she was put in a place in the public trust she was supposed to be helping these children but instead what this woman wanted to do was use her position as an opportunity to go out here and basically look to prey on those same children and that's what makes this woman in my eyes a monster a monster who needs to be locked up in the supermax in the federal penitentiary where she cannot be around people because her behavior is just that twisted her behavior is so twisted that it just it, it just absolutely disgusts me all, all around but it just shows that how things are getting worse as related to the woman crisis in this country because we don't have women anymore that care and nurture children and look to protect children no we've got a lot of feminists out here and these feminist indoctrinated females are basically looking to again abuse children because they want to be like the, what they think men are but the males that they're looking at as related to modeling their behavior are some of the worst people in society and again these are not the males that are good men of character that they're looking at no they're looking at sick men and these sick males again just absolutely sick this is not what manhood is about if these women these women don't understand i talk about this in depth in the woman crisis how many feminists look at the worst men in society and think to model their behavior like the worst men in society but many men out here were disgusted by this type those type of guys and disgusted by this type of behavior and the only place for this woman again is the supermax and i'm hoping that the eastern district of new york is able to get a conviction if these allegations are true because this type of woman cannot be allowed in society to prey on infants again children who have no power and no agency no she needs to be holed away in the supermax so that she can never be around any other children no this this woman again is just she cannot even be around i wouldn't even put her in general population because they possibly would go out here and she would be in a body bag within less than about a couple of hours because once those other women find out inside of the penitentiary like bertha big lou and ms marshmallow once they find out about how sick this chick is they're basically gonna be giving her the shank and again this woman again just one of the worst cases of behavior i've ever heard in my life i mean this just shows me again how we really have an issue with the breakdown of our family the breakdown of our family and what's even scarier than this woman and going out here and participating in this depraved behavior that was basically instituted um by our our own collapse of the family is that we're not really acknowledging the woman crisis and we're not acknowledging what's happening with our children who are being exposed to adult content on the internet and sadly since there's no parents there to tell them that that what they're seeing again is something that they shouldn't be exposed to again at a young age and also that most of the adult content they're seeing is fake they're not really being talked to about this type of content and again since nobody's there to talk to them about family what's happening to our young girls is that it's basically proving the old african proverb right that a race can rise no higher than the moral position of its women and as the woman goes so goes the race so the direction that white western women possibly are going on is where their moral position is at rock bottom and they're basically taking the country into the toilet 
and they're taking the country into the toilet because if the moral position of women is to abuse children sexually, we're in a really bad place, a bad place where our country is on a road to a, dis to a decline, where we're basically having our children basically fed to Molech, and instead of our children being protected and preserved, they're basically being put on the road not to becoming healthy men and women, but healthy on the road to growing up to becoming boys and girls in crisis who grow up to become men and women in crisis. Now, if you want to learn more about what motivates a woman like this to participate in this disturbing and depraved behavior and how, we, how many women are a part of this disturbing trend that's been going on that nobody in mainstream media wants to talk about, you can pick up my book, The Woman Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Woman Crisis at other online booksellers like Draft the Digital, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and big box retailers like Walmart and Target. If you'd like to see me make more, excuse me, videos about The Woman Crisis and go into detail about why women are just on a bad road, you can drop a donation to the Patreon, PayPal, or Cash App so I can continue making content that goes into depth about this woman crisis and the impact on society. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.